Donald Trump loves to peddle election conspiracy theories and he has decided to do the exact same thing when it comes to the Senate race in Pennsylvania. Now, of course, he endorsed a candidate in that race, Dr. Oz, and he's super salty that we still don't know who won that race because the results so far make it too close to call and there are still ballots being counted because there are mail-in ballots, which of course Trump is not very happy about. Now he wrote via Twitter, I'm sorry, not Twitter, via Truth Social. Wow, he's using Truth Social, it's surprising. Finally. <laughs> Finally, right. Dr. Oz should declare victory. It makes it much harder for them to cheat with the ballots that they just happened to find. So he's alleging election fraud again. And he wants Dr. Oz to declare victory, even though we don't know whether he won yet. But are you surprised? Is anyone really surprised? Of course he's doing this. Of course he's demanding that Dr. Oz do this. So what's the real reason that the race hasn't been called yet? Well, Dave McCormick addressed reporters just after 11.30 p.m. Eastern time last night to tell them that more counting is necessary because outstanding mail-in ballots mean the race could not be decided the night of the election. So just quick note. As we do this story right now, it still has not been decided. By the time you watch this video, it might be decided. So I just want to give you that like difference in in what you're likely to notice. So currently, Dr. Oz is leading by a tiny, tiny, tiny margin. So the last time we checked, he was at 31.3%, whereas Dave McCormick is at 31.1%. Now in Pennsylvania, there's an automatic recount that's triggered if the margin between the two candidates is less than half a point. So there could even be a recount, but Trump had more to say about the election fraud that he just made up, just pulled out of thin air. Here we go again, in Pennsylvania, they are unable to count the mail-in ballots. It's a big mess. Our country should go to paper ballots. I actually agree about the paper ballots with same day voting, just done in France, zero problems, get smart America. Well, European countries do a lot of things that are right that we could learn from that we usually don't learn from. But John, yeah, are you surprised by any of this? I mean, how how ridiculous! Like the the last bit that he does is he's like, it's so mail in ballots. That's bad. Let's get away from that. Let's go to paper ballots. But the mail in ballots are paper. You doink. What are you talking about? And what what does same day voting have to do with it? So yes, they do that. They also vote on the weekend. Exactly. Yep. Or we could give people the day off. Do you want that? Knock it out in one day. No. I and by the way, I wouldn't agree to that because yes, France doesn't do. Uh, early voting, but plenty of other places do. Plenty of Republican states have done it as we've gone over literally for years now. They've done it for years and years and years and it's been perfectly fine. There is not actually any problem with mail in ballots except the fundamental fact that they make it easier to vote and he doesn't want that. And by the way, um, it's not that they can't count mail in ballots. Uh, you're going to be shocked to find out they're just counting them. It they're takes a little bit of time no, to no. count them. And so let's say they count them mm-hmm. and let's say Dr. Oz gets more votes in the mail in ballots. Is, is Trump going to be like, throw them out? I don't want them. They're well, bad. You can't trust them. No, nobody believes you know, that. Trump, Trump likes mail in ballots when he gets to vote by mail. Yeah, he does so, it. Yeah, Trump loves mail. Well, he'll have no problem with mail in ballots as long as the results of the election um, end up working out in his favor or in the favor of someone he's endorsed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but one of the other reasons why he doesn't like mail in ballots is because. If you have a higher volume of mail in ballots and it takes a while to count the ballots, you're not going to find out the result of the election on that night. And he's a child, right? Yeah, he wants he wants immediate gratification. He wants to know immediately. He doesn't care if, you know, it's undemocratic or it would end up dismissing or disregarding people's votes if it meant that he gets to find out the results that night, it would be inaccurate because mm-hmm. you're not counting all the ballots, but he doesn't care. Yeah. He just, and by the way, he wouldn't want the results on that night if the results don't end up being what he wants. Mm-hmm. If it ends up that McCormick wins over his preferred candidate, his endorsed candidate, Dr. Oz. Yeah, look, none of it, none of it makes any sense. So in this case, he's saying just declare victory because that makes it harder for them to cheat by finding ballots later. He's obviously referring to 2020, but him declaring victory immediately doesn't seem to have helped him win the presidency. So I don't even understand his theory. You still aren't the president, you idiot. 
But anyway, okay, so forget that. In this case though, clearly they're cheating once again. But wait, who is cheating? So the Democrats and Hugo Chavez who stole the election in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. in 2020. Okay, so presumably they're still in charge. They're, I guess, working for McCormick because you're not even trying to state that somehow McCormick has rigged the vote in Pennsylvania. So the Democrats have decided that they have ultimate control over whoever gets the primary and they're gonna give it to McCormick, a guy who seems more likely to win the general election than Dr. Oz, who's relatively easy to attack. If that's the case, if they can just choose whoever they wanted, why, why put a Democrat in there? Have a Democrat run as a Republican and then have him win. Which is presumably possibly an actual description of Dr. Oz because who the hell knows what his politics was like 10 years ago. None of this makes any sense. And it's not too, supposed to for us, it's not intended for us, it's intended for conservatives. But if you're like a MAGA guy watching this, does any of this make sense to you, honestly? They don't care. Does any, like, are care. you following any of this? You just know, like, I want Oz win. They say Oz good, Oz not win, so now they ruin Oz. And then if Oz ends up getting more mail-in ballots, if the ballots don't appear to sink his candidacy, so are they good? Are they bad? Is it all contingent? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They'll change their commentary. They'll change the narrative. They cherry pick. They don't care that they're hypocrites. They don't care that Trump, if he had his way, would dismantle whatever's left of our democratic process. They don't care. They don't care. Well, and if they've rigged the vote in Pennsylvania, then why did Summer Lee win? If it's the Democratic establishment that's rigging the vote, mm. why did they let this progressive that they put yeah. millions of dollars to take out win? And that was a really narrow one. It would be super easy to suddenly, hey, bag of here's 5,000 votes, they could win it. Why don't they do that? These are all very basic questions, so they don't have answers to any of them. We have a huge portion of the Republican Party who now believe that the 2020 election was rigged, right? And this this issue isn't going to go away. For me, it, this is way bigger than one Republican primary race in Pennsylvania for a Senate seat. For me, this is what our elections have devolved into and will continue to devolve into for I don't know election cycles to come. Yeah, and and that's the part of it that's frustrating. It's not being able to just enjoy a win or accept a loss. It's just. All of the garbage and lies it's and claims lies. about fraud that follow our electoral process. Because the horse race wasn't annoying enough. All of the <laughs> other stuff that's associated with our elections wasn't terrible enough. Now we have that added layer of people refusing to accept the results yeah. of the election because they don't like the results. That's what we're gonna have to deal with. In a country that's already being ripped apart by culture wars and all this other stuff that doesn't actually in any way have an impact on improving our lives. That's mm -hmm. that is what we're dealing with. Yeah. And that's what frustrates me about it.